Hey, um, you're wondering why I'm uh, right in front of the video. This is a different, um, different angle than the actual video and so on. Um, but we are occurring a few problems with the Squidex reactions. And the last week we kind of figured out what to do now. Um, first of all, it got copyright blocked, then we tried to cut out the elements and stuff, and so on and so on. And after that we realized, oh shit, we didn't really um, save the original recording, so we only had the rendered version. And after reviewing it a few times now with the cutout elements, we noticed, oh shh, uh, it's only 48 minutes from a one hour video, because my con conversion program, converting program, didn't convert the file properly. Um, I had that more often back in the days um, and we found a way to avoid that now, but unfortunately it didn't happen for the Skrillex album reaction. Nonetheless, I want to show you the reaction because I think it was it was worth it and um, I, I really enjoyed reacting to the album. Um, so yeah, it's cutting short at the end. Um, a few elements are cut out in the, in the middle, so this video is kind of a mess, but I hope you all will enjoy it anyways and I will see you with the next reaction. <laughs> Welcome, Society Members. We are excited to invite you to the Inhuman Patreon campaign. I would say let's just start with the album. Um, start with the Skrillex album. And the first song is... I, I, I will listen to the songs I know already and just give my two cents to it, especially because um, I have to say, especially... The songs really grew on me. Even the songs I didn't like at the beginning, I, I like them a lot more now. Hey, Jaios. I can say it already. Still not a fan of these vocals. Please don't leave me like this. It's the album reaction of Loppa. We will listen to the whole album again and I will give my two cents to it. Because a lot of things changed in my, my thoughts, honestly. Here's is a banger. But more to that later. This sound is incredible. I love that sound so much. Damn, dude. And honestly, the vocals here work with the song, even though I don't like the tone of the vocals. And I, I, it, it seems like I have to explain that again. If I say I don't like the vocals, or the vocals are trash, or whatever, or whatever I word it, it doesn't mean that the vocals are not able to fit the song still. Just for me, the processing of the vocals and the tonality of the vocals, it, it just doesn't speak to me. It doesn't resonate with me. And I, I would never do this in my production. Um, still i can enjoy it like especially if it fits the song like this it, it's still something i can completely oversee sometimes if not i will say that um, but in this case i'm not a fan of the vocal processing not at all still it fits the song and it gives the song a tonality um a pretty cool one in my opinion and i don't really try to see it as vocals that are processed a way that i don't like i kind of try to You could have answered before. Oh, did I? Did I not? Wait a second. I haven't seen your message actually. <laughs> I 
Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, as I said, um, I, I kind of lost lost track, but yeah, I, I can still kind of oversee that the vocal processing is not something for my taste and I try to see it as an instrument that just complements a song that I really enjoy otherwise. Yeah. This sound here, Dan. So good. And it has like these classic bass house elements, but it sounds so fresh because of the production and the creativity in this. It's so cool. It's his quest for fire, Blopper. Sweet one. Now we got Skrillex, Miss Elliot and Mr. Oizo with Ratata. Fantastic song. Jules, thank you for the sub, my man. I appreciate it. Also, the flow is actually sick. Like, she raps fucking fire here. I really would love to know what Mr. Oizo did here. I'm, I'm just curious. I literally only know a flat beat from this guy. So I'm just really interested in what he's doing now and what he did on this song especially. Did he just sample a song that would be kind of sad? Linscape, I'm pretty sure it's just really songs that he enjoyed and just made because he was interested in making that stuff and just slapped them all together. And I kind of love that approach here. Yeah, it's a fire song. It's just a funny... Cisco, thank you for two months, man. I appreciate ya. Quiet is here. Hey, man, what's good? Uh, it's really short, but I think it's really well done and it works in a club environment. Um, and especially for a song that's more like a meme and a 
sampled it seems like i didn't i didn't know that um it kind of makes sense that it's a short it seems like an interlude type of situation in my opinion but i think it's well done it's funny it's kind of trashy it reminds me of eliminate in times and it's it's really cool i appreciate it next up we probably have my song of the year so far i think um it's the only song that I saved right after the basement set. Um, and yeah, I listened over and over and over again. And it's really the, I think it's the sleep net situation here. I'm just a sucker for this guy's like Nick sound design and production and the atmosphere and stuff is just insane. Um, you can hear the Noisia influence here um, because some, some people don't know it, but Sleepnet is one part of Noisia or was one part of Noisia. It's Nick. And he's... I think this guy is my favorite producer, period. Um, what he does just speaks to me on a different level and his first like album EP oh, thing. Serenity, thank you for 10 months. Oh my God, dude. Um, and Tears is just another example that Sleepnet is, in my opinion, on a completely different level and creates music I never heard before. And this bass light doo -doo -doo, it's not just a so many people just use an 808 as a bass light like doo -doo -doo sound but here you can hear that it's actually it turns into a re-space and those little little elements and features are so sleep net and it's ah i love it ah Damn, dude. Ah, this melody, dude. Oh my god. Production, the detail, the energy, the the atmosphere, the fucking atmosphere is so unique. It's so unique, damn. And the vocals here. This is the perfect example of crazy vocal processing that I absolutely love. I love the vibe of these vocals and they are not crazy high pitched so I can enjoy it more anyways. But then the, the reverb, the delay on it, the little distortion, like the, the analog fuss that is on these vocals is just wonderful. And now on the second drop, we maybe come to the cleanest bass sounds I, I ever listened to. Hey, Zyrex. Good. 
Beach Map Time. You don't like the texture flopper? What is wrong with you? It's so beautiful. Quiet 100%, yes. All in scape, nah, I mean, I love that it's not like dubstep direction. I'm so fucking over dubstep, honestly. <laughs> now we get Skrillex, Fred again, and Float and Rumble. And I think we have to talk about Rumble again because, um, yeah, after listening a few times, I absolutely love this song. I was kind of, yeah, I, I was trashing this song a bit. Like, I, I was clearly trashing the song at the beginning because I wasn't able to get over these vocals. Because in my mindset, when I hear these high-pitched vocals, first of all, it's more... Uh, uh, not again, but... Dude, after listening a few times, this one turned into... Again, one of my favorite songs ever, I think, um, in, in, like, electronic music. This one section in the middle, I can look over that now. Like, this one yeah high-pitched screechy vocal thing i can look over that now because everything else is so detailed so incredibly well done and so powerful and especially unique as well like the whole layout of the song the the arrangement and the songwriting is different than a lot of other stuff and a lot of other songs and i can totally appreciate that it's incredible uh, mjolnir i don't think so I think the vocal in the middle is still absolute ass. <laughs> but as I said, I can look over it. Like, just pitch it an octave down and it would sound better in the middle. It would sound better and be still a contrast to everything else. Like, this vocal is okay. This Here the rumble thing is completely fine, but that extremely high-pitched one in the middle is so unnecessary. <laughs> You slept quiet. Run for them like when I step into the jungle, so they wanna move up. They better move up, never gonna win a war rumble. So when I come through, you know what I love to. I send shots for your team and leader. And if the witness decides to vacate the war's gate, sweet just like a Ribena. Yo, listen, you hear that? Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. Yo, listen, you hear that? Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. I love how he's just creating a beat with these bass rumble sounds instead of using drums or melody stuff. It's just like this pattern of the bass steps and Flodan is rapping on it. So clever. part Yo, yeah that over smell the aroma them done that really long Trace uh, probably song of the year I'm when I ramp when I skin it when I wake from a coma Listen yeah that shots get fired in a was right for the skin like it is an MS not an ink is in the in a jungle Yo listen yeah that kid is in a jungle kid is in a jungle Kid is in a jungle. So good. Kid is in a jungle. Kid is in a jungle. Build up here is fucking sick too. Sounds like yours, Nask, right? <laughs> Remember your sample pack you did for Antidote? <laughs> Literally this snare all the time. <laughs> and these vocals here are beautiful. I love those vocals. So good. <laughs> now we have two bizarre. Um, Skrillex, Sway Lee and Sick Brain. I'm not sure if I know that one. Hmm. 
Hmm? Visa juked. Oh, and it's uh, Posich. I, I didn't know that. Shame on YouTube, Zyrex. Are pretty cool. I am not the biggest fan of the drums here, unfortunately. I like the vocals. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. The, the vibe of this is not too interesting for me. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Yeah, not not for me. Not for me. I'm still extremely well done, I think. Now we got butterflies from Skrillex, Dara and Fortet. These vocals are so good. The melody here is incredible. Really nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Really, really cool song. Really chill vibe. I have a similar song on my album. <laughs> kind of similar. <laughs> um, Skrillex, Aluna and Keto with Inhale, Exhale. Another fantastic song that I know already. Mob Sing, thanks for the follow. Incredible bass sound again. <laughs> Vocals 
vocals could be a bit annoying over time. I think when you listen to the song more often, like the vocal repetition on this, the in that exhale, in that exhale, and then too high, too high, too high, can be a bit repetitive, a bit boring, a bit annoying maybe. Uh, it's not to a point where I wouldn't listen to the song though. I really like the song. <laughs> Production again is crispy clean, but I think I don't have to say that on every song. The production is a masterpiece on the whole album. I get that flopper. I like that he's changing the pace over time, that's pretty cool. Why did you check the MTS ESP plugin that I showed you? Oh, yeah, of course. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Mark. I love tears, Mark. Not sure about that, Cyrix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like the song too. Really, really good. Great. Well done. Thanks, Mark. And thanks, Mark. Jaws, I mean, everyone uses samples, so that's that's fine, I think. Pretty, pretty sick song. I love it. Next, we got a street I know from Skrillex and Eli, Eli Kessler. Oh, that illustration is sick. It's cool. I love the the melody of the uh, of the vocal chops. Be cool. Oh damn. Oh, usually I'm not a fan of Safe Haven stuff, um, but these visualizers are amazing. I will, Jaios, yeah. Insta Solens, I don't think so. This album has not a lot to do with dubstep. It's just electronic music and I hate that people think that this is dubstep and expect them to do dubstep and dubstep is such a pass, dude. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Dolperfish 100%. Powerful bass sound here, I like it. It is Jax, yeah. Damn, this part. Nice. A 
Pablo House, you can put that in my Discord server. Just follow the server and there's a stream suggestion suggestions tab. Ah, oh, Insta Solent here. Absolutely, I get that. Section school. I'm excited. What's happening now? Nice. Here is beautiful. Oh, wow! Oh, my God, that transition. Beautiful, man. The heart, it really has carpet vibes here with the percussion. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, Avis, I feel that. Absolutely. 100%. I feel that. It's definitely changing something. Because it's creative. It's creative. And now we got Xena. Which is a song that I really enjoy, and I, again, it's a song where the vocals really grow on me. I think they fit really well, and I like it. Thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, and so I prefer this a lot over his old style. Like, light years. has a focus on the vocals and the solids, I think it fits. Uh, Doberfish, I don't think this is actually really new. They're, like last stream we found some songs that so just sound like this. Um, but inspiration is fine and he absolutely nailed this idea, like the production, this is fire. But I think the most creative and most interesting new song of the album is, uh, so far is Tears. This one is fire. The production is way too clean. Like it's it's so precise. It's insane. That's insane. Uh, Zyrex, yeah, I love it. The screams are fantastic.
Marco, maybe it gets overlooked because it's not that good. <laughs> Especially nowadays, a lot of the stuff on it you can't really listen to. This part is cool as well, I like that a lot. I think Rhesus changed more in dubstep than Scaramans is a nice bright stopperfish. A lot. I think you you mix those two up. <laughs> this part is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, Rhesus was way later, but Rhesus was the one that made that shit mainstream. It kinda is Jax, right? Yeah, incredible song. It's incredible. The whole vibe and soundscape and the percussion mix up, mix down and the drums and everything. It's just, it's fantastic, man. I can't say anything against it. And now I even like the vocals. <laughs> Why don't you like the sway vocals, guys? I like the vocals. Like the sway vocals are pretty cool in my opinion. He's singing really, really, really cool melodies. Um... This is not my vibe of a song either, but I think it's extremely well done. And the screaming kind of breaks it up pretty pretty cool. It just sounds like a like a funny idea they had. Just put this tune together, throw it out, and see what happens. And I, I kind of appreciate that. Hey Sharks, what's good, my man? It's cool. It's cool. I dig it. I wouldn't listen to it, honestly, but it's kind of well done. And really unique again. Now we got Skrillex, Flodan, Beam, and Peekaboo. Hydrate. Peekaboo, my man. Sick vocals. NH, thank you for 11 months, my man. I appreciate you. Holy shit. Don't want to be the guy, but the production on this one sounds way worse than anything else on the album before. Oh, 
It's simple, not complicated. So it is hot to stick. Vocals sometimes are too loud here and there. The bass sound is kind of too loud. The drums don't sound as as clean or as precise as on the other songs. <laughs> Yeah, this one sounds kind of half-assed so far. Yeah, this one is not working at all. Yo, we make fire bun in any party. Send for water, hydrate properly. Never get irate, never get thirsty. Send them another harpoon for me. If it's gonna be a mad thing, holler at me. Territory expanding, holler at me. Military headgear, gloves on mask. None of them have ever been better than me. Yeah. Pull up on your block like Bayless. Got the surgeon ready for the face lift. It's simple, not complicated. So it is hot, just stay hydrated. <laughs> Yeah, this one is not really good. <laughs> Sounds like a basic deep dubstep song with a really nice uh, British rapper on it. It's simple, not complicated, so it is hard to stay hydrated. <laughs> Hmm, I expected more from this collab, honestly. It's simple, not complicated, so it is hard to stay hydrated. That's what I'm here for, Mark. <laughs> yeah, nah. Not a fan of this one. So far, my, my whoa, Jesus, my least favorite of the album. Um, by far. Next up, we got. Oh, that's the interlude. We can skip this. I heard this already, which is kind of funny. A good space from Skrillex and Stara. <laughs> that's what you are here for, Mark. Good melody. Uh, 16. Luxy. Now, direct comparison, this again sounds so much better than the Peekaboo collab. Just quality and production wise, it's crazy. That's funny, sharks. Oh no, it's that one. Chipmunk on crack type beat. Without these trashy vocal chops, I would love this song because the bass sounds are amazing. The basses are so good. This part is cool. Shoo. 
I can kind of ignore the vocal and really like the bass design. <laughs> Oh, doot, doot. that little sound is really nice. The snare is fantastic, Sharks, absolutely. Doot, doot. It's pretty cool. 